continue the assembly process, it did say I needed a bearing. So I decided to print one. I need to clean it up a little bit, but it spins just fine. Now that the thing's kind of dry, we are going to finish putting this in there. So we attach the bottom right here, it just goes together. That's where the balls are going to fall into. And then we just need to try to put that right there. And then we need to attach that here. Then everything should be good here. You gotta put the red one right there. That one there. This one goes here. And you need to put that in there, like that. Okay, it seems to be working. So now we need that. And this one, I believe, still goes underneath. <laughs> it's so big now. <clears throat> That's what she said. Let's try again. Just to double check. Looks like it'll work. Now, we are gonna have to make a spacer to go on one side of this because it is not grabbing that other gear. All right, we'll be back. underneath this thing where once you drop here another one automatically goes the other way so each ball goes the different direction on that side all right we have to put the cage back on i think we do that way they don't fall off this side it's all done until another addition to the marble run comes out big shout out to the guys who make these add-ons. I'm going to link the Maker World profile for this and the profile for the guy that makes all these add-ons in the description below. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this awesome, awesome build. I'm really happy that it's finally done. See you guys in the next one.